it's our last week of med school. Mom. What's on your arm? What's on your arm? This all plasters. Why have you got dinosaur plasters? You're going to get the value from these anatomy sessions if you go prepared. I always find that you can actually tell from what specimens are out, what's likely to be examined. I'm going to come out of university with no real friends. I'm probably going to compromise on my grade. <laughs> you can't say that. Oh I can't get away with that. This is how tonight's revision session's going. I need to get through <laughs> 120 more Anki cards. Considering it's 10 p.m., I think we're going to be up all night. All night. And good morning from another week at med school. The final week, case nine. We've just had case nine open, which is on thyroid hormones. Grave case. Um, it's a grave case. Yeah. And why is it a grave case, Rahul? It's grave disease. Because it's Graves disease this week. So, you know, I'm feeling good about the fact that it's our last week of med school, essentially, isn't it? So we've just come up to the top floor at Beta to have a little catch up, me and Rahul. And You've just told me, spending a year out of medicine, you're not going into year three next year, and instead, you're going to the US for one year to study what? You're gonna do law. Yeah, so I'm really specialized in medical patent law. And biotechnology. Medical patent law yeah. and biotechnology. It's the future. It's the future. It's the future. Right. Almost all of these, these big medical companies are in the future. And welcome back to another brand new week at med school. It is 1 p.m. And I've had a really nice little catch up with Rahul. I've not actually seen him in a very long time. And that is, to be honest, because when you're on a course like medicine, like PBL, problem-based learning, which is where you do the majority of your studying on your own, don't really find I have that much opportunity to hang out with people and stay in touch with people. And to be honest, I don't feel good about that because I do feel like two years into medical school, I don't really have a close group of friends. The only real friends I have is two people maybe on the course. And that's because we keep changing in different PBL groups every semester. And to be honest, as well. A lot of the people on the course are a lot younger than me. It is in some ways my fault as well, just because I have got such a busy, hectic lifestyle. So I really don't have time necessarily to stay in all the group chats, turn up to all the socials. But you know, two friends that I do have on the course, I do want to make more of an effort with going into third year because otherwise I'm going to come out of university with no real friends. But anyway, that was good fun catching up with Rahul. Today I have a lot to do because as I say, it is the start of a new week, start of the final case, which is case nine. And the exam is two weeks today, SEMTEST, testing all nine cases. In addition to that, the end of semester mid sem test, which is just a formative testing cases five to case nine, is out this week and it closes, I think, at the end of this week. So I need to prioritize doing that as well. And also just working my way through this week's Anki decks and building question banks. So just to give you guys a bit of context as to how much time I have before the exam to put towards each case, as you can see at this timetable, with it being Tuesday the second, I've only given myself two days revision of Anki decks on case five, three days in case six three days on case seven and then three days on case eight and three days on case nine. That actually takes me up to the day of the exam. Now, I've not even built the question banks for case seven, eight and nine. So fitting that into just three days for each case is not a lot of time. And this also doesn't give me enough time to go back over the content for case one, two, three and four. So as you can see, there's a huge, huge amount to do in a very short period of time especially in addition to that, the fact that I've got anatomy and I've not even factored in my anatomy. And then considering only a day after my SEM test, I've got my CCAs. And my CCAs is testing all the anatomy from all two years and all four semesters. So it's a humongous amount of work, kind of accepted that given the circumstances, you know, I've got a girlfriend now and all the added things that I've added onto my life. I'm probably gonna compromise on my grade. I'm kind of accepting maybe honors and uh, low honors or even a satisfactory on my SEM test and also, you know, on the other exams just because I've got so many other priorities right now. I don't have a DJ job. I'm trying to find a new DJ job. I don't have a video editor. I don't have a plan for Thailand, which I'm traveling to in six weeks. So I've got a huge, huge amount on my plate right now and not a lot of time. So let's get into some work. And so I've just got back from my final anatomy tutorial of this semester. It was about the thyroid and the parathyroid gland. And it was actually pretty easy because we did this stuff in SEM 1 in case 4 on growth. So there's not a huge amount to this case. And the anatomy is quite fun. But for the rest of the evening, the plan is just to get through question banks, just to keep trucking on, keep working, and try and get as much done as possible. YouTube video scheduled if you want to watch it. Travel channel. It's right there. Go check that out. 
But time to get into it for the rest of the evening. Let's go. All right, so it is 1 a.m. and I've just not done anywhere near as much as I would have hoped that I could have done. Done a total of 250 Anki cards today and out of the six decks on case five for Hepatitis, I have got through one and a half decks. So I've got all more decks to get through tomorrow, which will be the end of the case. Those decks contain 90% of the cards. So I've pretty much done 10 to 20% of the amount of work that I need to do. So now I need to get 80% done tomorrow. Good night. <laughs> And so good afternoon slash morning slash whatever it is, it is nearly midday. But all morning, I've basically just finished off my PPD portfolio, going through some of the things that my supervisor that I've got a meeting with in five minutes has said that I need to do to make sure that I've got a PPD that is considered satisfactory. So I've done that and I'm pretty confident that that is all ready to go, all ready to be submitted. So I'm gonna find out in this meeting with her in a couple minutes just to figure out exactly what needs doing, if anything. Um, but yeah, that feels good because that's one thing that I can tick off the list. And yeah, now I can just solely focus on submitting my PEP essay and studying for the semester exam, progress test, and the CCAs. That's the plan for today. Meet with her, go swimming, and yeah, just keep working through these question banks. And yeah, feeling good. And so I've just finished my meeting with my academic advisor talking about my PPD. And she's basically said that everything's ready to go for my PPD report. So that can now be submitted and I can have a 30 minute interview essentially about my PPD submissions. That's basically all you've got to do for PPD in year two. Um, it's a little bit different to PPD in year one in that you've got a 15 minute review. Year two, you've got a 30 minute review. But I'm really happy that she said that's all ready to go and she's happy with it, so yeah. So I've done four hours and six minutes of Anki decks and I've got through out of the six decks in case five, I'm on deck number four. I've done, I'm literally on deck four. So I've got two more decks. This deck number six has 134 cards in it. There's about hundred, there's about 200 cards that I need to do for case to finish case five. So that's a huge, huge amount of Anki decks for case five. But I am gonna call my mum now at 10.40 because we are just gonna run through my pep. Uh, any changes that we've got in order to just amend those and make it ready to be submitted. And then that's going to be it for today. So I'm going to call her now. What is going on, you guys? It is 1.30 p.m. Today, I started by waking up very, very tired because I just didn't really sleep last night because this flat is just so noisy and so loud. And actually, I do think I'm vacating this flat next month. I'm not gonna be staying here. Many reasons for that. Noise, it's expensive. Price has gone up through the roof. And to be honest, I'm not needing to pay this over summer. Um, but today, this morning, I started with consultation skills and it was like a one-to-one -one review, which wasn't even a one-to-one. -one. It was actually a two-to-one where it was me and another student and we had different stations which we rotated around, giving us better practice for the CCAs later this month. Wow, in two weeks time. Basically involved us having two consultation stations and doing one examination station. So that was pretty good having the opportunity to just go over all the stuff because the CCAs in two weeks are actually testing the CCA content and the examination content over the full two years, all four semesters. So a lot of stuff to go through. But over this last hour, I've just been speaking to my mum, finishing off this essay, hopefully getting the pet done, completed. So I don't have to think about it again. And then just continuing on with um, doing question banks, getting through my study timetable. It is 5 p.m. and I've just got back from a lecture on the NHS and um, basically how broken it is and how we should all be really excited to work in it very shortly. Yeah, it is basically my lunchtime, of course, with it being 5 p.m. 
So I've just made a pasta because I'm absolutely starving. And the day really needs to consist of studying question banks, getting a lot of that done, and seeing Jenny tonight. Ready for a 9 a.m. first thing in the morning. Okay, revision's going pretty well, but I actually have made a pretty interesting observation, which I'm enjoying about revision period. And it is making the links of things that we've learned previously um, in different cases and in different parts of this course with things that we're learning now. And this is actually why I do enjoy this revision period. And as you can see, I've got a little post-it note that says, enjoy this journey. So for example, we're coming across thyroxine again and thyroid hormones. And actually case nine is all about the thyroid and an overactive and an underactive thyroid. But we did the thyroid and the effects of the hormones in semester one, which was in first year. But what I'm really enjoying about, you know, doing this revision period is hearing about the, the same things over again. And it starts to join all the pieces, right, in your head because you're learning all this, these facts and learning all this information and you think it's so complex, you're never gonna revisit it. But actually, because you keep hearing a lot of the same sort of systems and the same sort of things, the same sort of drugs, you start to understand what they do and remember it better. And that's ultimately what this course is all about with medicine. Like there's no way in one week you can learn everything, but you can visit the material. And then the way that problem-based learning is run is that you revisit the material over the course of the five year medical degree. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. This revision period is going pretty well. And it seems I've had a surprise visitor. Look who showed up to He's distract me. Way. Yeah, well, mm. you're distracting me because you're sat on my chair, so I'm sat on your knee. But yeah, this is how tonight's revision session's going. I need to get through <laughs> 120 more Anki cards. And to be honest, on average, it takes me about an hour to get through 30 or 40 cards. Considering it's 10 p.m., I think we're gonna be up all night. But you have brought food. Food. And I want to know what food you brought, Jamie. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> it's the most bland thing on the planet. Anything to do with food is exciting. It's not exciting. Microwave rice. Right. right. That's not exciting. Sweet and sour chicken. With? Oh, that's nice. We are in the process of just uploading this pep report so I can get this ticked off the list and I don't have to think about it ever again for year two. Upload. Yay! Pet report uploaded, done, dusted. We can tick this off the list. Pet review, pet review. Voila, that is one thing out of 400 things that we're doing. Today, I'm very, very happy that we've got that done. I'm sure you're happy because now we can go home. We can go to bed. And go to sleep. 1 a.m., but that is me signing out from Thursday. Catch you guys tomorrow. Good afternoon. What time is it, Jenny? Half past one. It's half one. Why is it half one? We went to bed at about five. That is ridiculous. But I'll tell you what is ridiculous. Are these on your arm? Mom, what's on your arm? Stop. What's on your arm? Come on, show us what's on your arm. You've got dinosaur plasters. Why have you got dinosaur plasters? Because I had vaccines. Because you had vaccines. Why did you have vaccines? We are going to Thailand. To Thailand in just over a month's time. So she's getting all jabbed. She's been pricked all morning. And she's gone and got dinosaur plasters. Very fitting. This is a good breakfast at half one. But I have got an anatomy revision session in two hours at 3 p.m. So I'm gonna eat this and then go. Hello, Ronald Reagan. You're not very loud today, are you? He normally screams and shouts at me. So, where are we off to, Rahul? Rainy anatomy day. Rainy anatomy day, but we are doing it inside, of course, because that's where we do <laughs> our anatomy. <laughs> Hard to do outside. So yeah, we've got a dissection. It's a two hour practice revision session for all of the SEM4 mm -hmm. and SEM3? Was it just SEM4? I just think it's just SEM4. Just SEM4 anatomy, which is obviously one of the four components of the way that we're going to be examined in two weeks on the CCAs. So we'll have all the specimens. And I always find that you can actually tell from what specimens are out, what's likely to be examined. Yeah, because they have to use the same specimens, there has to be enough for everyone. Exactly, so you've got to use these opportunities, like these revision sessions, yeah. to kind of pick up on the cues like that. So, two hours of that. All right, mate, good luck. Good luck, no, I'm spotting you, I'm spotting you. I'm not giving you the food. <laughs> See you later, good luck. 
So yeah, that anatomy session was pretty good to go to. 7 p.m. by the way, and I've actually not done any work. It's just been really bad. But yeah, the anatomy session was good to go to, but I have found that you're gonna get the value from these anatomy sessions if you go prepared. I've not done any pre-reading, any anatomy pre-revision, so I didn't have any questions. I didn't have any things that I wanted to know there and then. I just kind of looked at the specimens and was a bit clueless because I was like, I need an iPad and I need to go on Google and teach me anatomy and figure out what I'm actually looking at. So actually it wasn't the best use of my time. If you wanna gain the most from these um, dissection room practice sessions, do some pre-revision and figure out what you want to look at before you get into the dissection room and just have some questions ready uh, so you can make the most of your time. But now I'm going to do some more question banks, get through some more work because I've got a very busy weekend. All tomorrow I'm DJing from 1pm till 10pm basically at two different places. And then Sunday evening I'm DJing from 8 till 1am. So a lot planned. Let's get into it. This evening, I am having some sea bass with some sweet potatoes, and I'm watching a lecture from this week's series on thyroidism, hyperthyroidism. I just feel like I'm trying to absorb as much as I possibly can with exams pending. You know, I'm so behind on my question banks. It's kind of like, I feel like I'm at damage limitation. I'm just trying my best to absorb as much as possible, knowing that I'm probably not gonna be able to get through everything. I also think I've really been putting a lot of pressure on myself um, and panicking way more than I needed to be because I've actually got all my honours points. I don't need an honours, I don't need a distinction, I don't need anything like that because I've got all the top grades I can get for the years one and two. And I guess what I am stressed out so much right now is because I'm comparing how much revision I was doing in last year, for example, comparing it to how much I'm doing now, and it's not even comparable. But obviously last year I was getting distinctions, high honors. So the fact that I'm under so much pressure right now because I'm so far behind on my revision schedule. Previously, I give myself six weeks to revise before an exam. This time I'm giving myself, I've got like three weeks. I started properly revising last week. I feel like I'm stressing because I'm comparing it to how I would usually revise. When in reality, I'll probably get a satisfactory or maybe even scrape a low honours. But that's all I need at the end of the day, so I don't know why I'm stressing. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy this food and um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this week, I think, as well. And that is, in fact, the end of this week at med school. Really productive considering it is actually a week and a half, nine days, 10 days before my SEM4 exam, which is the big exam, which I'm really stressed about. But it's just a really, really busy week ahead and I'm just gonna have to knuckle down. And to be honest, I don't think I'm gonna vlog next week. I think my priority is just gonna be just getting on with it. So I don't think you guys are gonna hear from me or get another video until after the exam where I let you guys know how it went. So with that being said, we're gonna eat this and I'm gonna revise for the rest of the week set that exam hopefully smash it and catch you guys after so I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have hit that like button and also subscribe hit the bell notification button and yeah there's more videos on this channel and on my uh, on this playlist right here so check those out but as always I'll see you in the next one when I tell you my results